public dispute and gaining and losing trust or rebuilding trust, I would say. Let's welcome Grace from the Change School. <laughs> um, the Change School, I would say, is a, a, a school for the modern life, about happiness and practical uh, interaction with the world. Okay, I'll give her the stage. She is a little bit sick, so please. <laughs> Sorry. Um, she, Grace is a little bit sick, so if you can just be very relaxed for her, that would be wonderful. I, I should be all right. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, yeah, so I guess just a quick thing. The Change School is a holistic um, uh, education provider where we work with individuals um, who are at a career crossroads or life crossroads, and then we work with businesses um, who are also going through change. Um, so today I'm kind of taking you through, um, I guess, what I call lessons from a serial fuck-upper because I don't have the word failure in my dictionary. Um, so I term it as AKA lifelong learning. I think everything happens for a reason. Um, and that, <laughs> thanks. Um, and that, you know, everything is there. There's a life cycle for things. So sometimes it's just a matter of fact of us being able to appreciate that. So I'm gonna try and talk as fast as I can through some of the things. So one of the stories, um, and I'm going to take you through some lessons that I've learned, but through three main stories and as quickly as I can. Um, so the first one was in 2011 when I was running my other business and these VCs approached us and asked us to do a joint venture to build an online group buying site. I was, I think, 26 at that time. I'm 33 now. Uh, sorry, no, yeah. Anyways, don't worry, I'm not great at math, sorry. Um, so they approached me and my past business partner, and it looked great. Everything was amazing, over-promise, um, you know, everything pretty much. But for us, we were super bright-eyed, and we thought, great, this is going to allow us to have money. They're going to pay us a salary. They're going to give us a percentage of the business, and it's something that we wanted to do within the fashion industry, which was my background. We were in negotiations for about a year, back and forth, and uh, they were introduced to us through a mutual connection. So initially, we thought okay, they're good people, we know the person who's connected us to them, so why not go ahead? Um, and, uh, you know, in the end, something we realized was that it wasn't something from the beginning that we wanted to go with. We were instinctually going, this is not right. However, based on um, social pressures, you know, startup world, get some VC money, get investment, build your business this way, et cetera, et cetera, we sort of got roped into it. Um, and I think no matter how, who, who gave us advice, we didn't really listen to our uh, gut instinct. So for me, um, what happened was we continued on this journey for a year and then we realized that what they were promising, promising us was all fake. Actually, in the end, they ended up um, paying us for three months um, and they were based here in Singapore, so I'm mindful in case anyone is interconnected somehow. Um, they paid us for three months and um, nothing ever eventuated. It was just a lot of conversations, again, a lot of meetings, a lot of, you know, you've got to work hard, you've got to keep doing this, you've got to keep growing, we've got to scale, we've got to scale, we've got to scale, um, but we never really saw any results. And eventually they sold, eventually we walked out, they sold the business to someone else. And then that person actually contacted me about a year and a half ago um, because that the VCs got bankrupt and uh, they had to leave the country. So my number one lesson is go with your gut, always, because it will not lie to you. The second story is really about 20, 2009, I set up my own company, an agency called Agent Grace, and it was focused on Australian businesses coming into the reason, region. Someone had given me an opportunity they had a fashion agency, and I came from the fashion background with marketing, um, you know, wholesale, brand management, etc. So it was the perfect opportunity. And I found a business partner who I'd gone to school with here in Singapore. We set it up, and everything was going great. We had great clients, good money coming through, everything. But again, something really was inside me, not 100% fulfilled. And I never started to listen to these things until probably now when I look back. Um, and I started running the business, and in 2011, my father passed, and I realized, actually, it wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, and uh, 
what that lesson taught me in setting up a business is that it's easy to set up a business in Singapore. Opportunities come all the time, but it doesn't mean you should take it. But most importantly is that passion is what gets you started, but purpose is what keeps you going. And I wasn't fulfilled in that business. No matter how many skills I had in you know, marketing or brand management or how experienced I was in working in the fashion industry, <clears throat> I still wasn't fulfilled doing what I was doing. So I could have a good business, make good money, but it wasn't going to get me um, for the rest of my life. So the third lesson, which is probably the most recent one, was um, with the Change School, actually. So previously it was called Change Ventures, and as a company we are still called Change Ventures Private Limited. And uh, it um, happened in a very close community here in Singapore, actually at the hub, um, and uh, at the hub in Somerset. And uh, I had just gone through my you know, epiphany of the company, Agent Grace isn't what I want to do. I took a hiatus for a month, came back, and I started connecting with the local community. And uh, I met a guy, and uh, we got along, a lot of great synergies. And um, I threw this idea of, actually, why don't we do a hybrid of an MBA and a yoga retreat? which is what our signature program is, Change Ventures, um, and that happens in Bali every year. So got along, three months later, we set up a company, which is Change Ventures, and uh, we decided to start doing the pilot. What I didn't realize, however, was that our visions were totally not aligned, and I jumped into something giving him 60% of the business, and I took 40%, because I wasn't able at that time to commit all of my time. And quickly, I realized that I'd put myself into a situation again too quickly um, before really thinking about what I wanted, who this person was, and what the impact of it would be. And the five days before our program was supposed to start in Bali, um, he went to the UK and never <laughs> and actually said, um, I'm going to stay in the UK. Um, can you run this program with 17 other individuals? And also, can you pay me a certain amount? Um, which was, we were in the negative. We had no money. And I had put majority of my money into the business. So it broke my idea of the vision, broke my idea of, of, of you know, the person that I thought he was. Um, but it also taught me a lesson that vision is not Vision is important, but what we think. So what I may think is like flexible or what someone else may think is flexible is very two different ways of looking at it, right? Or what I may think is like a social cause, someone else may not think is a social cause. We are totally misaligned in our vision. And in the end, I ended up having to um, deal with some lawyers. Luckily, it didn't cost me so much um, uh, because we didn't have any money. However, I was able to save the business, which is what is now the change school. And I have a, I have a new business partner, and she's awesome. Um, <laughs> and I have no hard feelings to the guy. Honestly, I really don't. Um, but I think one of the main things that I learned from that is, you know, um, when you talk to someone, when you're starting to start a business, whether it's with a VC, whether it's with another business partner, just make sure everything is aligned, uh, aligned and just for you to be able to stick with your gut, to be able to stand out, but more so that your values are more important. And what I didn't realize in all of the situations, whether it was setting up my own business, was that my values weren't aligned. My values weren't aligned with the VCs at the start. My values weren't aligned with the person that I was going to set up this business initially. And I ran too quickly and too fast into you know, hey, let's do it, what have I got to lose? Which is great in some, in some circumstances, um, but I think the biggest lesson is you can tell a person by the core of who they are. And if you know them well enough, you'll see their true colors come out very quickly. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and now what we do at the school is obviously helping individuals align their values with life and work, but also ensuring that they know what their values are. So for me, these last three key stories have really helped me to look back and understand that this is what it was meant to teach me this entire time and help me create the business that I've currently got. Um, so yeah, thank you. I'm taking questions? Oh, <laughs> Oh, my 
No? No questions. You should see some questions. <laughs> Grace is not staying after this, right? Okay, she'll, she'll be staying a little bit after the event, so if you do need to contact her, you can always reach out to her through the Change School or to her directly. Thank you very much.